be five of them off, uh, off Team 10. Right, the pole horse had crossed. April May and, and Wayne for you too. Hey, Craig and Penna Lambs too. Hey, right for those there, 120. Five, 15, 15, I got good 15. Got one 15. One 15 to bed. Hot 15. John. Swan Hill Associated Agents conducted their uh, September sale, uh, sheep sale um, on Friday. Uh, John Sawyer joins me. John, um, first sale in northwest Victoria since uh, June and the second one since April. It, these are scarce as hen's teeth. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's hard to round up enough numbers for these sales. This is the first of our spring sales, which we'll have, uh, we hope to conduct three of them, one in, uh, in October and one in November. Um, we had close to 8,000 sheep here, store lambs, um, Reno weathers and young ewes, through to older ewes. Um, the stock here today presented very, very well. Uh, credit to the vendors once again. Um, like I say, it is hard to, to try and round up enough numbers to have a sale. So, yeah, um, uh, a few withdrawals after a bit of rain, but the, the rain actually brought out a pretty strong crowd that, um, you know, w were pretty attentive of what they uh, were looking for today. Yeah, I think everybody, um, the lack of sales around the country, people are coming and wanting to touch and feel the sheep and see what they're like and what they're going to make and, uh, yeah, come along and have a bit of a look. Yeah. There's not many around. Yeah, the uh, crossbred lambs you opened up on... Uh, First three pens at 115 to 16 dollars for the butchers, and then um, clean sweep to one of your local uh, reef fatteners uh, took the crossbred lambs out. At yeah, yeah, end up yeah, the uh, day from about 91 up to about 116 to the store blokes, yeah. and yeah, and 114 to 117 to the butchers. So yeah, very very strong on those. Uh, Weather lambs before they run this pen out, this was the top at 115 dollars, but most of them basically. Uh, um, butchers took all the woolly lambs and yeah, yeah, a lot of the good woolies, the tops of the drops are 108 for the arundels, the tops of the tins at 104, um, right down to sort of probably a hundred dollars for yeah for your woolies and then um, the butchers took all lamb and then the only time the um, the restockers got to look in was probably when we come onto some shorn lambs at about 90 dollars down to down to sort of 80. Yeah. Okay, well, in the ewe section there, that you know, uh, uh, you only had one pet of one, one year olds, uh, $128. Uh, but most of the young ewes, uh, 120s to 135, 67. Yeah, 138, I think, topped at the Orange Groves. And, uh, yeah, but um, probably some viable sheep there, whether it's a little bit early for some people, for, for young ewes, but um, there's probably some opportunities there, I thought. Um, and the pretty old ewes, uh, the butchers were pushing them at sort of up to sort of 80 to 95. Dollars yeah. Uh, you know. Yeah. Most of the sheep actually have come forward in pretty good conditions, considering the first six months was almost a disaster, and the second six months, well, uh, you know, the tree falls cracking like stockwhips now. Yeah, just a late start, but um, yeah, we've got there, so uh, we hope to have a good sale in October. Which I think there'll be a fair few numbers. We might have over twenty thousand for the October sale, which is on that uh, designated public holiday in October, the first Friday in October. We're going to go with that. Yeah. So uh, real, realistically, this is a great good opening to the spring selling season in the in the northwest and for the Western River Arena. Yeah, no, very happy with it and um, just probably we kept pushing on because the beat job's so strong, both for lambs and sheep, uh, really puts a floor in the market and helps right through.